viewers, hello and welcome! I am Randall the Ring and Tell Variety, and we are back with more Rogue Legacy. Are you prepared for this? I'm prepared for this. I'll be prepared for this because we're going to pick our air. Whoa! Sir Skunky. With hypergonism vertigo. No. We have two problems with the slowdown. One, we have a mage early in the game, and two, we have a character of Vertigo. So the obvious choice is going to be the Knave with Daggers. Who can recover their HP by breaking items? Alright, MP by breaking items, I'm sorry. Whoa, we had a big load last time. So, the first thing I am actually going to do is check our runes here. Vault rune, we can now double jump. And our equipment. Ah! Five more HP, 15 more MP, I'll take it. Uh, ooh. Hmm. 16 armor. And, ooh, silver limbs, plus 17 magic. Oh, I don't have enough weight. I must explain this. You have a weight limit, and that's what the weight limit up ability is for. To equip armor, you must have the proper weight. If you cannot tolerate that weight, you're not going to be able to use it. And this cape I'm going to ignore. It's kind of useless right now. There will be a cape that has both functions of the cape before it, and it's one. And that's one we'll use up until I get a certain cape. Now, on to the manor. Remind me to explain equipment to you. Alright. Ooh, architect. We must go this way. Architect unlocked! The architect can lock a castle down and prevent it from changing. Like the layout of a castle? Lock it down! Just be sure you can afford his fees. Basically, the architect, if you like the layout of a castle, or you want to redo carnivals or furry chest rooms or practice a boss, you use him to do so. Now, you will see in time why I don't like to use the architect. In time. Hmm. Attack up. Mana up. Health up. Hmm. Attack up is quintessential. And once more, and uh, 200 gold left. I cannot buy any, wait, oh yeah. Greetings, boy. Wanna know a cool fact? I'm crazy. This lever here, with a simple pull, I can prevent the castle from changing. This way you can go through exactly what your ancestors went through. Impressed? You should be! How did I build this fantastic contraption? With science, of course. And magic. Mostly magic. But my skills aren't free. If I lock this castle, I will take 40% of all the gold you earn. No. That is why. The amount actually varies between 30% to 70%, so if you're really unlucky and you really want to lock the castle, you'll probably get a higher yielding. Ugh. Ah, hmm. I'm very displeased that I could not take on, uh, what's his eyeball last time. We'll get him this time. Oh, we will get him this time in this session. I have vengeance just coursing through my body. By the way, the character card right here will display everything in great detail. Like the OCD, it will tell you just blatantly. Break objects to regain MP, which is good. Hmm. I don't think it's relevant to explain yet, so we'll hold off on that. I'm trying to get all the informational shit out of the way so we can just be entertaining. <laughs> that is what I am focused on. Um, let me see here. Oh yes, I need to explain the different classes we played as. Right now, we are a knave. And what knaves have, if we also pay attention to the card, is compared to the paladin, well not, yeah, the paladin now. <sighs> compared to the paladin, they have lower strength, lower HP, but, oh, lower MP as well, but they actually have an innate chance to deal a critical hit and you have plus 100% critical damage on top of that. Oh! Heritage challenge. Hmm. I got this. Did you doubt me? I should hope. Ooh, that's a good rune. Yes. 
and the runes I'm going to try to gather as soon as possible. Because there, it, there can come a point to where you've collected all the runes, but the fairy chests still serve a purpose. A delicious, delicious purpose. If we ever get that far, it'll be great. I hope to. But, eh. Yo, know, the playthrough... I don't like you. The playthrough only goes so far. The NPC I just avoided, and will probably choose to avoid in most circumstances, was the miserly elf. Essentially the three chest- oh shit. I keep getting interrupted during explanations! Can we do this? I shall have to hope so! Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Uh, yeah! Woo! If your character has a PAD, P -A -D, Peripheral Arterial Disease, you can get through that with no problems. At all. And that was only one variation of three, and the other two will fuck my shit up. But anyway, the NPC I avoided was the Miserly Elf. And in one of those chests, you can triple the gold you pay to him to play the game, which is one quarter of your current gold. And there are two reasons ow, why that's not worthwhile at this moment in time. One, I don't have very much gold to start with. And two, we have a 60... <laughs> I apologize, I'm just late at night. This is the last thing I'm going to be doing before I go to sleepy. Because i got to get this up right when I wake up the next day. Um, and then there is a 66% chance to not find the correct chest. And I don't like those odds. Just like that. Walterits! Okay, there we go. These Walterits are giving me Tourettes. That's not true. Oh, just wait for some of the variations these things can have. They will give you Tourettes. Hmm. Nah, get out of my way. Oh, those silver limbs. I love them. They gave me plus 17 to my magic, which means I now deal 42 with my dagger instead of 25. Watch this. Here's a way to avoid missile damage. Be straight ahead, just throw your projectile, and he's gone forever. Until you get to the next room that has one. Ooh. Oh, I'll take Kobe's metal gold. It's just fine. Hmm. I think I may be close enough to getting 1,000. If I get anything less than four digits in a run, I have disappointed myself. Severe amounts of disappointments. Oh man, no, no. Carefully. 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 There we go. Very good, very good. Let's go check everything else for drop it to use first. Oh shit, the chicken. Oh, it's okay. My HP's full. Whew. Oh, this room looks like death. Uh, no gore, no glory. Let's do this. Uh, uh, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Get out of here. I can go bye bye. Bye bye. Mm. And the problem with me playing a knave right now is I actually do not have any possibilities uh, to help me out at this moment in time. So if I make one bad move, like hugging up against a freaking Ursaur, Lady Henrietta has been slain by an Ursaur. Lady Henrietta's parting words. Oh, damn. Ah, well. We still have another chance. Let me see. Or 30 minutes, wherever it comes first. Hmm. Hmm. Aha, Lady Lisa. Uh, we got a little bit of monies, so let's go check outside the matter first. Aha! Uh -huh. Two good runes. This retaliation rune will return 50% of the damage I take to the enemy that strikes me. And this grace room will actually reduce the scaling of enemies, like I explained. Enemies will scale up as you kill more enemies. And this will keep on going the more enemies you kill in each given area. Each quote unquote level of the castle, each unique zone has three different scales, so be very cautious. And I broke already, fuck. All right, let's do this. Oh. We got to get him this time. This time. 
It'll be this time, though. There's only one way to find out for you to stay and watch. And let me know what you think in the comments. That would make me very happy. Let's see here. Goodness, in the future, if... Uh-oh. Temptation to bounce across every... Hmm, I can get that coin without getting hurt. Don't believe me? Bet money on it. Or don't, because you would have lost it. <laughs> Maybe next time, I'll give you a fair warning. You're not supposed to be there. Please leave. Hmm. Oh, and I cannot get to you no matter how hard I try. That's a suck. Rooms like that will happen to where they will be tailored to a specific spell. And if you don't have that spell, you're shit out of luck. Also, there are dwarfism rooms where there are small passages and the only way you can get inside of them is with- Oh no, go 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 go! This is why you must have sprint or else you'll miss it. Yay! With sprint room, I was just talking about you. That was really coincidental that there was a reward from that chest. <laughs> but, uh... Oh goodness. There are situations that will generate in which you'll be screwed unless you have that particular trait or spell. So be wary for it, and don't despair if you don't have it. Ugh, oh, should I? Ah, what the hell. Get here, you motherfucker! Prepare to pay. In blood and tears. Especially the second one. Or both, bloody tears, if that's what you're into. Ah, and as you saw there, when I took that one hit, he took 50% of the damage and ignores their defense. It's very nice to have, and it can actually destroy invulnerable objects. Okay. Now, I'm doing very poorly on dodging these patterns here, so it is time to put my class ability into play. Oh god. Yeah, this rotation is why you must have one of the rooms. Unless you want to try and pogo dick your way across the eyeball, which would deal more damage, but it's very risky. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. And for Paladin players, it's very preferable that you have about equal HP. Oh, yeah! Equal HP and MP so you can block plenty of shots. I could not have blocked a single one more. <gasps> All that money. I like this. Ooh! And free stats. I like this, too. That, what's happening? Ooh! A clue that we must go kill more bosses. Anywho, here's a dwarfism room I was just talking about. I'm gonna die soon. I should probably not last beyond this room. 2 HP. Oh, that's scary. As long as the eyeball doesn't hit me, I'll be happy. Anything else can kill me at this point. Even a plinky. Just no eyeball kill. I have infuriates when eyeballs kill me. Okay. This way looks relatively safe for me, so long as I play super cautious. There we go. Chicken please, chicken please, chicken please. Chicken please. Ow. I almost said check please, check please. Okay. You must explore the entirety of Castle Hampson. Man, at this point, I wonder if I should just speed up Castle Hampson or not, because we're going to get to points in the game to where I'm going to have to grind. But at the same time, I don't want you to miss the crucial parts, and I don't want to just do constant speed ups, because that's additional render time. And the, and the render on the first episode did not go swimmingly. I had to cut out my intro. This room is awfully big. It's a bonus room. So, oh! You know what? I'm gonna die anyway. I'll take you on, I'm on! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh! Shitty. Lady Lisa has been slain by a mon. In options, you can enable quick drop to down strike and drop with the down directional button. I hate that option. And I hate that Lady Lisa had to die. Who is your heir? Let's see who else I have first. Just the name and the class. The name and the class. Oh my god. This character has to be awesome. 
because it's Sir Lancelot. Oh, oh shit. Oh, check this out. If you press the class building down, you'll turn into a knight statue. This is a direct callback to Super Mario Bros. 3, where you can turn into a Tanuki statue. It is a toggle, unfortunately, and it'll lead your MP quickly. Ooh, hold on a second. Switch you out with you. So I have two grace runes, increasing the... Yeah. Increasing the... Uh, scale mitigation. And I'm broke. Uh, magic damage or HP. By the way, you see those yellow tabs that say have a plus on them? That's a quick reference to see how much gold you have to upgrade it. So you don't have to go looking through and wasting time like a dingbat like I do all the time. Alright, Sir Lancelot. Providing this run is fruitful, you will have to be my final champion. May your life be long and prosperous and full of blood. By the way, armor here. Well, I am on this the card, you'll see it's a number and a percentage. The number really doesn't mean anything. What you're looking at when it comes to um, is the percentage. Because as you stack on more armor, it'll increase the percentage, which is the percentage of how much damage is reduced. So that 7% means all damage incoming is reduced by 7%. It's not reduced by 16, it's reduced by 7%. I don't want to go through there yet. So be very wary when you make the decision. Also, with equipment. Uh, I was talking about last time how the whole blood set doesn't really appeal to me much unless I'm in a certain situation. It's because the third row of equipment, speaking, the bottom row, has major trade-offs. Like every single piece of that set will reduce 30 HP right off the top. But it will give you vampirism plus one. With the exception of, I believe, the chest plate and the sword, that will give you plus two vampirism. However, the armor has two less armor than the knight. Ho ho. Than the uh, knight's chest plate. And it has, the sword has a bit less damage than the, whoa, the knight sword, which I don't have yet. It's the only piece of the knight set I don't have. I skipped the knight limbs because I have silver limbs. Why would I want the knight limbs? Well, I've got something better. Aha! You cannot stand up to me. If I had one more upgrade, I could have one-shot them. Aww. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. So why is it an odd number? None. Oh, because I got one strength from killing Kadir. Right. Well, this is a fucking mess. Uh, yeah. I really should be using chakrams, but I don't want to use a chakram right now, man. That's one major problem with me. Whoa! In this game, is I can use MP, but at some points I don't because if I run to a fairy chest room where I can make absolute sure I do not take any damage, I can use the chakrams to ensure that. Out of my way, out of my way, I'm the lawnmower, your ass is grass, move. Thank you. Great. <laughs> You're doing pretty well. We're almost to 1,000. We're almost to my minimum mark. If I get anywhere below 1,000 in any given run, like poor Lady Henrietta, then I am disappointed. I consider that a bad run. Any run with below 1,000 is a bad run. And if I ever ever have a run to where I only get like 500 I just restart the oh my god entire playthrough this is quite possibly the most difficult room to get out of because you've got the spikes right there and if you down strike too high on the second platform oh whew, you'll get stuck if you have vault you can get out of it luckily I had vault this time oh no equipment I still got blood equipment I need dude Oh, by the way, that is what influences my trips back to these areas. If there's equipment from the area I do not have yet, I, whoa, I make trips back and make sure I try to deck it out before I go to the next area. Oh, yeah, like there's one. Um, you can open equipment chest in the next area, but still obtain level one gear. That sucks a lot, especially if you could have done it in a different order and quite possibly got a higher level piece of equipment from, say, level 3, the Maya. 
So that's what I'm going to try and do. Likely, I will be cutting out a lot of footage, just getting to the juicy bits where we get runes, uh, big boss fights, so on and so forth. So look forward to that. I'm not going to waste too much of your time, but I'm willing to waste a lot of mine putting these together for you. Well, I think that's all the information, and now we can finally sit back and enjoy the fucking game! Ah, it's gotten to the point where these guys are just complete pushovers. Oh! What are you sir? Oh my god. Okay, carefully. Oh, we're fighting a McRib! Well, <laughs> it's like the real McRib. It comes and goes and rises from the dead. <laughs> That was one of the only McDonald's sandwiches I ever really liked. Kinda sad. Cause when I eat there, I feel sick. Yeah, leaving the chicken McDonald's these days. It's like, even the filet fish makes me feel sick sometimes. Ugh. Ugh. Never eat the beef McDonald's. You know, know what it is. For all you know, you could be eating Plinky meat or zombie meat. You don't want to be eating zombie Plinky love me, do you? At least be ballsy and go through the Maya. What's what could possibly go wrong? Ah, that is why I love the chakra. Oh, and it did 42 damage each because it. Yes, I have a very favorable build right now. Ah, there we go. What? Huh? That's fine. You're back into a corner. You can do nothing to me. Now, this area here. Remember I said I hate those eyes? Oh my god. Oh, I hate those eyes because of pupils. Which rapid fire... Chakrams or balls? Oh, balls, balls, balls of steel, apparently. Okay. Chickens. And I got the cannons. So really I'm only down 10 HP. Oh. And down 2 MP. Huh. I like this. Oh, there's a ninja. Fun fact about ninjas, they just run around and throw shurikens. I have never, ever seen them swing a blade, and that's probably a good thing. I would rather not find out what they do when they swing their blade, to be honest, because they're freaking ninjas, dude. Ooh. Another thing about being in a different area. The rewards from chests, and even breaking boxes, and killing enemy scale. Like, for some of these enemies, you're going to notice they drop a lot of coins. And I mean, a, see? Four coins, that's 40 gold. It's more if you happen to have certain traits or pieces of equipment on. I'll leave that sparkling water there in case they decide to use chakras. And boom, it's gone. Okay. A chest. My great. <laughs> now, let's travel. With that. Ooh, equipment chest! A night sword. Yay. I got a tier 1 piece of equipment in level 3 where I can get tier 3 stuff. Or even tier th 2 stuff. I don't have any tier 2 stuff minus the silver limbs. Oh, I would love to have a silver sword. I have no idea. Hi there. Hi there. Hmm. I gotta exercise a lot of caution here. There's all kinds of death. Coming from all directions. Oh, it's a good thing I'm not nearly as bad at this game as I told myself I was. I'm doing way, way better than I did in two of my runs. In one of my runs, I actually got vampirism, three vampirism runes, but many of the runs were just pathetic, like below 500 gold, and I just scrapped them. Like, I can't do this, man, I can't do this. Oh, did I say one of the runs? I meant like four of the runs at below four, 500 gold, and it was toward the early game. So, uh, obviously, that was to be scrapped. I'm glad I did, because this was turning out really good. This is probably my best run I've ever had. Ah, and typically, I think all the runs I finished have been about 10 hours. I think I'm still going to take 10 hours of practice, though. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, we need to make this room safe. All right, your mercy. Get out. Ooh. And good. Oh yeah, fun fact, the spike balls sometimes will randomly die. I like to just call them uh, instant spikes, inflatable spikes. Like, so like balloons, they just randomly pop. 
so if you're patient enough, or whoa, they're in a bad enough uh, predicament, then you can just wait for them to pop. And often, I think it's based on how many times they bounce. Like that, see? It's gone. Yep, there you go, that one's gone too. And they actually drop money when that happens. It's great. So the smaller distance a spike tour bounces, the more likely it is to pop and go bye-bye. Ah, it's a shame I can't go get the coinage up there. If only there was a magnetism trait. No, oh, okay. I'm trying to avoid getting knocked back into that room over there. Oh, maybe. Sad. You are a sad. Prepare for die. See, that's how you take care of guards. You bounce on their head and then you jump behind them. By the way, if you ever have not noticed, these enemies should have scaled a long time ago. They were level 28. Thanks to the grace, damn it, grace runes I have on, their scaling was massively reduced. They only scaled about three levels as opposed to probably the nine or so they would have. And mostly when it comes to uh, enemies leveling up, because if you noticed, I have a level two. That level is the total amount of upgrades you have bought in the manor. Which I believe pertain to anything that increases your character's statistics or, whoa, on-field things. Class ability upgrades do not count for drill down. So when it comes down to enemies having levels, this pretty much means that they have, I believe it's either armor, attack power, or HP. So the higher it's level, you should, whoa. Ah, obviously fear it. Aha, you are mine. Oh, good golly, we're at 4,000 gold. That, oh, this has been my personal best run so far. <laughs> On this run, fuck you, Majuli Elf. No one likes you. Not even your own mother. That room connects the rest of the Maya. And in difficult places like this, you are very unfortunate to approach large rooms with flying enemies from above. Pro tip. Always approach large rooms like that from below. And be very, very cautious. If you get the plant type of enemies, their projectiles will fall through the floor. General. General entry number four. Everything about this castle is off. I can't seem to keep track of my headings and there's no sun or stars to guide me. I find myself backtracking constantly, and I must painstakingly map out my progress, lest I go in circles. The maps I've pilfered off the corpses of other adventures are breathtakingly inaccurate. It is almost as if they're describing a different castle altogether. Perhaps this place does something to the mind. Or are the stones truly shifting beneath my feet? Maybe we'll never know, Ninjo! Ah, ninja owned. Uh, <laughs> there's one thing I have not explained. Ow! Thank you, retaliation. Careful, careful. Do good. I'm not gonna lose this run. I'm not gonna lose what I could possibly be like eight chilling gold. Oh, yeah! Alright. Hmm, now it's 5,000 gold. Ooh, the stakes climb ever higher. You've noticed that I've been taking massive amounts of. Oh, this is why you must always have sprint. Because this fairy chest is a cakewalk. Yeah! Oh, it's a siphon room. Oh, it's one of the really good runes. You'll see what it do a dozen times. I think we can do this room. I just have to be. Here. Why is it always filled with projectile enemies? Why? That's always my luck. These rooms are always filled with projectile enemies. By the way, the Maya is actually level 3, if I have failed to mention that specifically. And it tends to be the most bullet helly area in the castle. Most, ow, damn, most of the time. But back to explaining the trait. Uh, I am taking massive amounts of damage, but that's not ex entirely reflective of the actual damage I take. That's what hypochondria does. You will exaggerate your damage, so you must always... Keep an eye on your HP. In fact, if you're playing this game and you're playing it correctly, you should always be keeping an eye on your HP. And I mean always. 
Oh, cannon pointed my way. No chest in there? I think there's a good chest in here. Worth right, it for a chest. Yes. Not a single hit, Sir Lancelot. I expect a lot out of you. Because your name has a lot in it. <laughs> oh. You're silly. Now, let's see if I can make your ball die in the wall. Ready? Yeah. Ha uh ha! -huh. Yes. Victory is mine. Okay. What else do we have? We have a ninja. Ah, he's ninja owned! Alright. Careful. Careful. Alright. Come on now. We can do this. I am. I believe in me. You were. Grant me your power. Believe in me for just a little longer. Maybe we can make this thing last. I need to get back to the boss room. Because there's... Wah! Yeah, there's a flower mod in there. That's an elite monster. I'm not going in there. Fuck that. Hmm. Way around. Way around. This is the miserly elf room. Okay. So I need to go up two floors to the dwarfist room. I need to go east two rooms, and then I need to go down one. Okay, I got it. I think I got this. I think I got this. That seriously is one of the coolest names I've ever encountered in this game. Oh, fun fact. Uh, most of the games in this... Names in this game. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, let's get to that another time. Here is a cool thing you can do, too. If you've left the statues around, like I completely didn't there, you can just use the teleporters, smash your statues, and get instant healing right away. It's a good strategy. Just be ready to... Oh, this is a bad room, but there's a chest. I like money. I want money. All right, solve this one. You must get on the second can... Oh, you can just do what I did. That... Wow, I didn't think that was going to work. What you have to do is get on the second... Turn off shit. The second cannon before... Right after it fires, then sprint the way you need to go. And you will get through without taking damage every single time. What's in here? A journal! I like reading. I watch reading Rainbow, you know. Journal entry number five. I cannot exit through the front gate, but that is of little concern. I am committed to my cause and will not back out. So far, no other maps I've found coincide with my own. Yet, upon comparing them as a whole, I believe I unearthed a slight pattern. It seems the forest is always to the right, the tower above. And below? Well, hopefully I won't have to find out. Yeah, brother, trust me. Don't want to know what's down there. I know. And one of these days, viewer, you too will know. And you'll feel it just as I do. Now, as much as the cartridge of Battletoads, I still feel that. Still. I still fear that these days. Careful. One careless bop will kill me. And I will suffer great shame if I am killed by a monster. Like a regular fucking monster. That is in this part of the castle. Especially if it happens to be an eyeball. My horses. Eyes are pretty when they're not disembodied and shooting bloody eyeballets at you. I know I have bad fashion sense, but you don't need to do that to get me to leave the room. Let's see. I've got room over here. I haven't exploded yet. Oh! Uh, I'm not feeling too confident about that room. I know a way with the paladin, since we are a paladin, to get over to it, but it's very risky and it'll eat all my MP. Ah, oh no! You You're too inept, and I am too pro. Oh my god, I almost got boxed there. Ah, I am pro, you go. Bye bye. Let me see. Yeah, that is also a way you can tell if objects are real or not is to use the pause menu. It'll identify all enemies on screen. Trust me, the paintings are not the only thing you'll be doing that for. You'll be doing it later. I'm not going to tell you what for. 
Well, I guess I'll spoil it too. Uh, zombies, you see, they are surprise zombies. We've already seen zombies. So they, 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 who has them these days? Games over. There's one. Zombies start in the ground, and if you pause, you can catch them before they pop up. But you don't really have any tales to tell that by, unless. Oh my god! I lost all the HP I just accrued. I have a lot of sad right now. Oh. It's still nothing. I could have had like 60 HP. Suppose we'll go down over here. Because if we can get down over here, there should be more boss statues. More boss statues mean more HP. I should be using MP, but I'm not in really a situation where I need chakras. Nice, huh? You too. Ah, uh, die again, because you've obviously died. Oh, no, no, no. Mm, no, sir. Aha. I have dealt with all the things. I've seen a lot of fucked up shit. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm. Uh, I need to not get cocky. Because... Yeah, let's take the teleporter. That's a much less cocky route. Two. There was a room over there I didn't get into yet. What is there? Nah, let's go to the forest. We must now. There's no other course of action. Aha! Beep! Fuck you, sir! I don't care, there's a wolf. Oh! An eye for an eye! What a bad time for that. You would hate wolves, too. I don't care if you're a fan of them! You would hate them. This is I do. Not so much as Oh, and it's not these horses aren't bad. These horses are pretty brain dead like real horses, though. Ha 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 ha. Whether they be fictional horses or real horses. Oh, this is Charlie the Unicorn. That's a horse I'm okay with. Uh, there we go. I just threw the chakram to not do it in vain, you know. Let me see. There's a chest in here. I will not lose my life to you. Or your net brethren. Oh, they're completely missed. Uh, Yes! That's the best thing about Chakram. You can get upwards of one, two, believe it or not, five hits if the enemy is moving from one cast. Uh, empty room! Great. Oh. Yeah, you guys gotta go. Because if your boners come down and touch me, I'm gonna die. Boners are bad. Ah, there. Great. Good. Let's go find some chicken. Ah, uh, first rule of not being a low HP. Don't be tempted by fairy chest. Oh, these are awesome. See, these ones are very easy too. You just have to jump with a bullet and sprint when you hit the ceiling. And you'll pass through without damage every time. Hmm. There might be food in that stump. And there's not, so let's get the hell out of here. Alright, ready? Go with the bullet right now. Yes, there you go. Cool. I could totally get that fairy chest, but one mistake, man. If I can find some chicken and secure myself, like, one free hit, maybe I'll give it- oh my god. Uh, 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 there. Again, do not ever be ashamed to reset the room to prevent taking damage. It's smart. Very, very smart. Uh, oh, boss room, great! Ah! Okay. D no. I didn't even. Oh, I did need that actually. Cool. Okay. Uh, I gotta be really, really careful. Hey, there's someone flailing in the background. I just now caught that. Sometimes you're just focused too intensely on your character. You don't notice what's going around. Uh, like, on, hello. Chest. I'm very interested. Hopefully you're a bounteous one. Eh, you're an okay chest. I've seen bigger chest. Bigger, bouncier, fooler. Bouncier. Bountier. I, I said bouncier. I didn't say bouncier. I said bountier. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. One more hit. I'm fucking... 
being fuck it is not a good thing. Unless it's the good variety. Wow, is that what my commentary is reduced to this late at night? I really need to go to bed after this one. <laughs> oh, hello there, Tower Guard. Wait, you're not a Tower Guard, you're a Oh my god, I'm back in the game. What the hell? Well, random chicken's good. Tall Guard. Not very tall, I'm tall. Well, actually, Sir Lancelot is an endemo. Hello. Let's wait. I wish I had that earlier. That could have been a silver sword. Or the next tier of equipment that I'm not going to totally spoil for you yet, because it's awesome. Let's see. Just please be equipment. Ah, cash is good too. Ah, oh, journal. My last words before imminent death. Let's see what they say. Journal entry number six. I have never liked the dark. I prefer to meet my enemies on open field in plain sight. But now I find myself braving these darkened gallows with one gauntlet outstretched, the other by my hilt. I can never tell what horror lies beyond each corner. I am the greatest swordsman in all the lands, yet even I am having trouble keeping these demons at bay. My siblings should be grateful that I rushed ahead of them. For them, it was a blessing in disguise. They would not have the fortitude to survive these halls. Well, I guess we're gonna be a little caring of any. Wow. Are there any more rooms to explore? There better be. There's one right over there. Let's go see what's inside of it. <sighs> Spikes. And anal rapist. Oh. Nah, I didn't want your cold earth spire in my rectum. Rectum? What? <laughs> I really need to go to sleep after this. <laughs> Let's get the gold now. Whoa! Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. That was a big mistake. I didn't realize the very tips of the spikes would deal damage to me. Ah, I hate you. Oh! I thought I took damage there. No! I refuse. I'm not die to I refuse. When I first played the game, I already died enough to wolves. Fuck. Okay. There's a chest here. That makes, that makes it worthwhile. Oh, we, ooh, we're coming up close to 9,000 gold. Oh, don't be fooled by this. I will show you a terrifying mini boss which we will immediately run from. His name is Solus. Get the hell out of there. I'll kill him one day. In this playthrough, I promise. This room looks like death. This room is death. So be careful. I will not die to an enemy. Likely die to a trap. Knock on wood. I don't want that to actually happen, but if that does happen, we're gonna have ourselves a lot of drinking. Oh! Aha! It's mine. Hopefully this isn't a dead end, because going against that stream is a very troublesome setting. Oh, it is. Well, I know my demise. It's not from you, dinguses. It's from the cannon, dinguses. And goodbye. Ah. All right, well, prepare for die, because you're going to get it. Oh, my God. I could have totally sprinted and then used vault to get out of that. I feel so dumb. Sir Lancelot has been slain by a wall turret. Vampirism and siphon rooms are very powerful when stacked. Sir Lancelot's parting words. And this is true for what we will see in the future. Well, I am Randall of the Ring of Tail Variety, and thank you for joining me again for Rogue Legacy. Keep your tails wagon, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.